Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I wanted to do a video talking about what exactly a tourniquet is and what we're trying to do with a tourniquet. Question kind of popped up on one of the comments, so I want to take just a few minutes and explain to you what a tourniquet is and what we're trying to do when you put a tourniquet on. So what we're trying to do with a tourniquet is we're trying to control major life-threatening hemorrhaging, bleeding from the extremities, arms and legs. This is going to be an arterial blood flow that's high pressure system. It's coming away from the heart. So it's under a lot of pressure. So it's going to be squirting bright red blood. It's going to be bright red in nature because it has oxygen in it. So this isn't going to be oozing just a dark color. This is bright red squirting out of the wound. This idea of putting a tourniquet around the arm, the leg, it doesn't matter if you're using commercial devices or you're making your own out of cravats, belts, whatever you've got to be able to cut off blood flow. So commercial devices are faster. You can improvise with other items. So for a quick anatomy lesson, you guys have arteries and veins. Arteries go away from the heart, veins go towards the heart. So the arteries are high pressure system, veins are low pressure system. So let's say this is an artery. So veins and arteries both sit in ridges in the muscle line. So this is actually pretty close to what it looked like. This is the artery, this is the muscle surrounding the artery, protection, things like that. So this gets severed, gets cut off. So now this is a high pressure system, blood's just squirting straight out. So what we have to do is try to close this off. So when you make a tourniquet, what you're doing is you're taking this muscle mass and you're squeezing it tight, just like this, to get off, just cut off blood flow. So one of the differences you can see here, let's say this are two different muscle masses here. This is an arm, this is a leg. Honestly, arms are very easy to cut off blood flow. Uh, they're not that difficult. The legs, especially people who have larger legs, can be more difficult to cut off blood flow because now you have to squeeze this large of muscle mass to try to get it to cut off. Now that's why sometimes you'll see, they say it takes two tourniquets to cut off blood flow to the leg because you're trying to squeeze this much more muscle mass to cut off blood flow to this artery here. So using this as an example, this is our extremity that's gotten cut off. What a lot of times happens with the body is the body realizes this artery's been severed. So it will start to curl itself back up inside the muscle mass, trying to cut off blood flow itself. The body's very smart. The body's trying to stay alive. So that's why you'll see uh, people say put tourniquets several inches above the wound because if the artery here is curling back up and we try to put it just back tight, all it's doing is pumping blood back into this part of the muscle. You can actually create compartment syndrome and your patient's still bleeding out. They're just bleeding internally now. So that's why they say come several inches above the wound. You'll also see some people talk about high and tight, means coming up way up as high as you can get the tourniquet and put the tourniquet on. Two schools of thought, neither one of them are wrong. Just if you're going to put the tourniquet on, just make sure you get up high above the wound, uh, several inches above the wound. The high and tight comes from people that are in obscure environments, dark, you know, it's, you can't see very well. You may not even see exactly where the wound's at. You just know there's a lot of bleeding. So you put the tourniquet high and tight. When you talk about you're putting a tourniquet on these larger masses here, like this is the leg we were talking about, that's why I talk about the wider the tourniquet, the easier it is to cut off blood flow. Because if you've got a little narrow tourniquet here, such as like a belt, things like that, it takes a lot of pressure to squeeze this muscle mass. So if you have a larger tourniquet, the wider tourniquet, it actually is easier to compress this muscle mass around the artery. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder, when you need the right gear and the right training. It's coming away from the heart and blood is just squirting. Uh, it's a hot, but using. <clears throat> so I hope this video helps. Oops, I forgot what I was going to say. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder, when you need the right gear and the right training.